Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today we delve into a captivating topic that is sure to enhance your understanding and boost your learning strategies. Our focus today is on Bloom's taxonomy knowledge dimensions, specifically examining the categories of factual, conceptual, procedural and metacognitive knowledge with extremely helpful examples. Number 1. Factual Knowledge Factual knowledge is the foundation of learning, encompassing the basic facts, terms and information we accumulate. It pertains to the memorization and recall of specific details, dates, names and definitions. This dimension allows us to form a solid base to build higher order thinking skills upon. By developing factual knowledge, we can pierce through complex concepts with ease, facilitating a comprehensive understanding of any subject matter. Here are some examples. Name three planets in our solar system. What is the structure of a DNA molecule? List the countries that make up the G7. What is the capital of France? Who is the author of To Kill a Mockingbird? Number two, conceptual knowledge. Conceptual knowledge involves understanding the relationships between various pieces of information, leading to the creation of broader concepts and mental models. It requires connecting the dots and grasping the underlying principles, theories and frameworks that shape a field of study. Through conceptual knowledge, we can analyze, interpret and evaluate information, gaining insight into how different elements interact and influence each other. You can see some examples on your screen. Explain how photosynthesis work. Describe the function of the circulatory system. Analyze the factors that contribute to climate change. Compare and contrast capitalism and socialism. Develop a model to explain the formation of the rock cycle. Number three, procedural knowledge. Procedural knowledge pertains to the mastery of processes, steps and methodologies required to execute specific tasks effectively. It involves the acquisition of practical skills and the ability to follow defined procedures. Possessing procedural knowledge empowers individuals to apply their understanding in real-life scenarios, enabling them to problem-solving, troubleshoot and carry out complex operations with precision and proficiency. Let's see some examples for that. Demonstrate how to change a tire on a car. Show how to perform a forward roll in gymnastic. Create a recipe and cook a meal from scratch. Illustrate how to program a computer to run a simple algorithm. Prepare a presentation and give a speech on a chosen topic. Number 4. Metacognitive Knowledge Lastly, we explore the metacognitive dimension, which refers to self-awareness and reflection on our own thinking processes. Metacognitive knowledge allows us to monitor our cognitive abilities, identify our strengths and weaknesses, and form strategies to enhance our learning and comprehension by being conscious of our thought patterns and adapting our approach accordingly. We become proactive learners who continuously improve our metacognitive skills, fostering lifelong growth and intellectual development. Some examples are here on your screen. Set goals for a specific learning task. Monitor progress on a project and make necessary changes as needed. Evaluate the effectiveness of studying techniques and modify as needed. Create a plan for studying for an upcoming exam. Reflect on past learning experiences and identify strategies for improvement. In conclusion, Bloom's taxonomy knowledge dimensions delve into the multicolored nature of learning, factual, conceptual, procedural, and metacognitive knowledge intertwine to form a comprehensive framework for holistic understanding and intellectual growth. By recognizing and honing each dimension, we unlock the potential of our cognitive abilities, becoming exceptional learners equipped to navigate the complexities of the world. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. So thank you very much. If you have any question, query or you need any support for making a decision, don't hesitate to write an email to the teaching partner at gmail.com. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.